What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of the dopest regional birds of all time. We got ourselves a Talonflame team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Talonflame, this Pokemon is a speedy tailwind setter that can also hit like a truck on the physical attacking side. The one that we are using today is Rocking the Fairy Terror type with Gale Wings as its ability, the Covert Cloak as its item, and it's got an amazing move set of Dual Wing Beat. Flare Blitz, Tailwind, and last but not least, will the Whiffs to burn up on some physical attackers. Now, the other Pokemon on today's team are pretty straightforward and pretty meta, so if you guys want to use this team to push Master Tier, I highly recommend it. We got Ursaluna with the Life Orb, and we got Indeedee with the Focus Dash. Both of them are going to pair up really well because, one, we can expand in force with Indeedee, and two, we can pop Trick Room and have Ursaluna go crazy. Our final three Pokemon are going to be Electabuzz, Sneasler, and Incineroar. Now, Electabuzz has been a very standard, very strong support Pokemon within Regulation Age, and that is because, obviously, it can hold the EVO Light and has Follow Me. Incineroar is going to be doing Incineroar things with Fake Out, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, Knock Off, and then Sneasler, I feel like I don't even have to explain this Pokemon anymore, it has taken over the Regulation Age meta, gonna be able to pair up with Ndidi with the Psychic Seeds, it has Unburden with Close Combat, Dire Claw, Throat Chop, and Protect. Guys, when run to see for yourself, the rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this talent flame team. So guys, looks like we're going up against a neutralizing gas wheezing team here in match number one. And I feel like whenever I play up against this Pokemon, everything gets weird because it just throws off everything. It takes away abilities. It's just annoying to play with. But they also got Hisui and Typhlosion. They got a Rangaroo. They got Annihilate. Then they got Dragapult and Whimscott. So kind of like a fast, speedy team that could pop Trick Room if they want. Or that could just be uh, an Instruct user with Eruption, which kind of looks scary. That's pretty much what it's looking like. Now, I could go into Sneasler. I could go into Indeed here. Sneasler's going to be great for fake outs. I mean, I won't have abilities, which is a slight issue. I could just go into Incineroar, which isn't bad, to be honest with you guys. Um, hmm. How do I want to play this one? I could just pop Trick Room. I think Trick Room might be our simple smart play. Just go Trick Room and then like go into Ursaluna. I'm really about it. I don't know because the problem is going to be that Typhlosion. Like, we need to get that Typhlosion off the field. So I feel as Incineroar could be good, but they could lead Defiant. They could go in with a Defiant user. So you know what? I'm going to go in DD. Mm, I don't want to go in. I don't want to. Ah, this is brutal. This is really annoying for me. I'm not going to sit here and lie. But you know what? I'm going to go Talonflame. I'm going to go in with Incineroar. I like that. We'll bring Sneasler. And last but not least, do we go in with NDD with the Focus Ash? I think so. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's going to be the play. That is going to be the play. Now, I'm super worried about this Orangaroo and Typhlosion combo because everybody knows you don't want one eruption to happen, let alone two. So, I'm going to have to try to figure out ways to kind of play around this. So, I do have Talonflame for the lead. Not bad. I mean, I'm hoping, again, that they do not lead Annihilate because popping the fire is just going to be a struggle for us. I'm going to hope that they don't, and I can just get off a of free Intimidate, and they don't. Beautiful. So, clear body's going to pop out here. This could just be Instruct. Ooh, this could be annoying. This could be Instruct Dragon Darts. Oh, no. Oh, and you're not clear body. That's massive. That is massive that you're not clear body. So, we're sitting here. I'm not going to go for a fake out turn one. I could fake out a Rangaroo, but I think I just straight up attack here. I really do. We should go for, go for Tail and get some speed control. Yeah, you know, we're going to Tailwind on top of a uh, knockoff here. I like it. I like it. You're already minus one, so this isn't a bad lead for us. Especially no clear body on Dragon Bolt. That is... Mwah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We love to see it. But now it's going to come a Terror type here, turn one. And this is going to go into the Dragon Bolt, which is a smart call. Um, it's going to go Dragon Terror to boost that Dragon Dart's output damage. And it seems like it's got to be Instruct here, right? It's got to be Instruct. So Tailwind flies for us. We're going to be able to take off Item first and foremost. Because Incineroar should outspeed. It does. Awesome. Dope. That's great news. And Knockoff does great damage. So Choice Ban, gone. So damage is going to be decreased a lot here. A lot. It's minus one. No Choice Ban. We're able to soak that shot. You're going to be able to soak this shot. And he's going to Instruct that probably, correct? Yep. Okay, that's fine. We can soak this again. So that's just a big time play for us. So right now we're outspeeding. You could go for Follow Me. Um, Dragon Dart's going to launch here. And how much damage is this doing? Again, we're soaking. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, we get rid of the choice band that's massive. Um, I should honestly just throw a knockoff in this slot, but I could double down the Dragon Pult here. He could swap too. He could definitely swap. 
Who would you swap into? I'm, I'm fine with just going for... Just going for knockoff here and doubling down in this slot. So knockoff into a dual wing beat. I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. And they just cancel battle. So we counter them turn one. They say, nope, I'm out of here. And they just leave it. So guys, our first match went pretty perfectly. We were able to intimidate the non-clear body Dragapult. We took off its choice ban. We popped a tailwind. And then our opponent was just like, nah, yo, I'm out of here. And ended up leaving. But we're going up against a really dope team here in match number two. Charizard, Archaludon, Meow6, Cerulege, Grunbull. And last but not least, they got Hisui in this UI. So let's go back to back here. Honestly, who should we lead here? We could take Tailwind Control with Talonflame, which honestly, I really like. We shouldn't have to watch out for fake outs with Meowstic, but I do have the Curve Cloak there. So I'm going to go into Talonflame, and I could just go into like Expanding Force here. Yeah, let's go in DD. Let's go Talonflame and DD. Let's get things popping with that. They have no Terrain Control, so I can bring in Sneasler. And last but not least, probably Ursaloon here just to deal with Archaloon. I like this. I definitely do like this. So again, we're sitting 1-0. Quick first match. Looking to give you guys a full match here. Not trying to make this video too short, but looking for another victory here in match number two. But seriously, I just want to thank you guys for all the support. Everybody who subscribes. Everybody who is a member on the channel. If you guys want to become a member, there's a join button down below. If not, there's a link down in the description below. And super thanks are now open. So if you guys want to donate through that, add a few donations. Thank you guys so much for everybody who has donated to me. I really appreciate it. But uh all the likes and everything really goes a long way. So if you guys want to support without actually paying anything, just like up the video or leave a comment. It really does go a long way. So thank you guys for all the support. But Charizard, Meowstic out here, chilling here. Um, I think just a simple tailwind into expanded forces or play. Just steal some damage to his Charizard. He's just going to protect that. I mean, that, that's fine by me. I get off a free tailwind. But I could have sworn like... A couple seasons ago, Charizard would be flying in the air. It wouldn't be just standing on the ground, which is kind of odd. It looks pretty sick this way, though. Just stand on the ground. I can get down with that. But Tailwind flies out from us. Expanded Force is going to fly. Chunk up some damage into Meowstic. Nothing crazy. And Meowstic is going to pop a Trick Room, so... That kind of sucks. I, th I feel like I have to cancel that Trick Room at this point. I think I have to cancel that. Are you room service? Okay, I see you. I understand your room service. You are room service. I can't go for dual wing beat because of the terrain, but I am going to go into a trick room here and try to cancel it out because I do have focus ash. I'm going to try to cancel that trick room. I still have Ursula, which is good, but room service coming out here with the Charizard. Really odd, but it, 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 it's looking pretty nice. I'm not going to sit here and lie about it. It's looking pretty nice. So they get off trick room. We have a couple turns left in Tailwind. We're going to try to cancel out their trick room here. And we're going to look to deal up some damage with Talonflame. That's weird. That's the first time I've seen Trick Room popped on the field with Charizard and Room Service. I think that's dope. I think it's a cool little combo there. Misty Terrain comes out here, so they're taking out the terrain now. All right, I see you. I understand. Misty Terrain out and about. Heat Wave is going to fly. Who's dodging it? Someone dodged it. Now I'm playing dodge it. I'll take that all day. And Flare Blitz going to launch into Meowstic doing great damage. Another Flare Blitz will end up KOing you. And guess what, ladies and gents? Guess what? We're saying bye bye to the Trick Room. So Trick Room's gone. Um, we're going to get rid of this Meowstic this turn. We're going to get rid of this Meowstic. We're going to go into another one of those. I think I might just hard swap into like Ursaluna here. Might be a good call for us. Just so I can reset Terrain and have Sneeze over the Psychic Seeds later in the match. I think, I think that's a fine call for us. So Trick Room, gone. Get it on out my face. I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> I'm not dealing with the Trick Room. Charizard standing here like a menace. As long as I can get rid of this Meowstic, I think this is a fine turn because I can deal with Charizard later. I'm going to get out my lovely little Ursaluna. And Sunny Day is going to fly. So he's going to say, hey, let me set the sun before I go out here. Flare Blitz is definitely going to KO this Meowstic. So bye bye to you. And see how much damage this Charizard can do. It's kind of scaring me, man. Ursaluna, you can soak this, correct? How about, how about you just dodge it? How about we just make it simple and you dodge it? Nope, don't dodge. Ursaluna... Ouch! Ouch! Why you gotta do me like that? Solar power is gonna chip up, and I'm just gonna go back into two indeed. Luckily, Talonflame soaked it, but Ursaluna, I really want you soaking that. So I get Talonflame for another turn. I mean, in the Sun Flare Blitz, that's some damage. That is some damage. I get to bring back out the terrain. Man, losing my Ursaluna like that, not cool. Not cool at all. So we get Indeedee out and about. They go into Cerulege, who has Flash Fire. We already know that. Um. The battlefield's getting weird. We're ready to rip expanded forces. 
Probably just want to go into a dual wing beat into one of these guys. Um, but I'd rather go into probably Charizard. Or I could just go into Sword Edge because Charizard has a chance of protecting. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do this. Yep, there's the Charizard protect. Good call on my end. Great call on my end. Great call because now I'm able to dual wing beat. Bop. And then bop. And then hopefully it's expanded force. Can it do the job? I don't think it can. Let's be honest here. I don't think it can. It was a good call on our end to like double down the slot, but I don't think it's KOing. So close yet so far. Better blade launches, it's gonna KO my Ndidi, but that's fine. I mean, you keep my talent flame on the field for another turn. You will get back a little bit of HP. I get to bring out Sneezy here. I get to bring out the lovely Sneezy. The Sneezer gets to come out here with the Psychic Seeds. Um. Oh man, these fire Pokemon just do me dirty. These fire Pokemon do me dirty. Tailwind's gone. Uh, we should still have speed all day. Yeah. We still have speed all day. But at this point, it's like, oh, it's rough. It's rough. I mean, I could go into Flare Blitz into what's it called? I could go into a Flare Blitz into this Charizard. This is a problem. Because I can throw chop you and KO you. I could double down the Charizard. Um. Dark Terror is really not going to help us besides a damage out boost here. Um, I think doubling down the Charizard is our play call. Yeah, we're going to double down Charizard. Especially because it protected last turn. Let's just try to get rid of it. Hopefully, Shrule Edge protects this turn. If Shrule Edge protects this turn, that's huge. But our opponent with this weird odd team actually giving us the workings. Giving us the workings, man. Just the fire damage is huge. We're gonna finally see a terror type pop out here. So is this Charizard or Cerule Edge? I think it's gonna be Charizard, right? It is Charizard. We're throwing Dual Wing Beat and Dire Claw, and he goes into the fire terror type, which is perfectly fine. I mean, we should just be able to get this Pokemon off the field and KO it. And hopefully Cerule Edge protects. No, it does not. So Dire Claw launches, doing great damage. Dual Wing Beat's gonna fly out here. Bop, see you later. We get rid of Charizard and their Terror type. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one plays out here because Bitter Blade could just KO my Sneasel, but I'm hoping it could just soak it. Let's see. Is he going for Bitter Blade? You gotta be going for Bitter Blade. It's gotta be Bitter Blade. Will O Wisp. Okay, so you burn me. That's not bad. That's not the worst thing that could be here. Because I'm thinking of terrestrializing Sneasel right now and just throat chopping and KOing this this uh Cerule Edge. And I'm hoping their final Pokemon they throw out can be a Pokemon that Talonflame can just end with a Flare Blitz in the Sun. Doesn't sound bad, right? Dude, we're going for it. Intimidate. Oh man, that really sucks. Throat chop. I'm still hoping you can KO. I really am. So we're going for this Flare Blitz. Terra, try to get rid of you. And then maybe a Dire Claw with the damage, but Intimidate with the Grumble, man. That sucks. I still think Throat Chop has a shot at KOing. I get we're burned in minus one, but I mean, Terra boosted Throat Chop, super effective. Sledge isn't that bulky. Gonna be close. Gonna be close one. I know we're gonna die out to recoil damage here, which really sucks. Really does suck. As long as Grumble's not going for like a physical attack and like fairy move, like play rough. Dude, this, this, this is going to be too close. So I, I don't even know if we're going to KO with this Throat Chop after all those decreases. But let's see. I guess we're going to find out right now. Throat Chop flying with the Terra Boosted. It does not do the job. That really sucks, man. I really needed to do the job. Because now we're going to say bye-bye to Talonflame. And Talonflame actually does solid damage. And wow, the burn play was the right call. So GG Sword opponent. They had this odd team, and it worked out super well for them. Honestly, played it really well. Bitter Blade's going to launch here, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Let's see. Yeah, it just KOs me. So that's what I thought they were going to do that last turn instead of burning. Just go for that. But they kind of gave us a shot. But again, GG Sword opponent. They played this weird team really well. And I'm super like cool that we got that on recording. So we're 1-1. One one. Let's go hop into our third and final match. So guys, time for our third and final match. We are looking for a winning record. And Sneasel looks amazing here. It's going to be super effective into the Ulamize, the Sinistra, and even the Roll Room. So I'm not going to lie. I think just leading our in DD and Sneasel here. It's probably a solid call for us. They do have Pursuing Typhlosion. They could pop Tailwind with what's called as well. With Illumise. It kind of makes me want to just go into Talonflame here, right? I could just go Talonflame and Cinnamore. 
And that's really what I'm leaning towards. We're going to go Talonflame and Cinnamore instead. And then just bring Sneasel and DD in for late game. I like this a lot. I definitely do like this. Let's see how this one plays out. Again, we're one and one. First match, super quick. Second match, we played a weird off meta team that gave us a run. They ended up winning the match. Um, and now we're sitting here looking for that winning record, which would be nice, especially with this Talonflame squad. And let's see how they end up playing this one. Once again, Archiluan, obviously very annoying. We got a few very good Pokemon on this team. But again, Sneasel is looking nice. Sneasel is looking real nice. Super effective onto a lot of different Pokemon. Even the Archiludon. They're going to go Sinisha and Gengar, which is decent for us. I mean, honestly, our Sneasel League would have been amazing. But they could pop Trick Room. We should just straight up attack these guys. Um, Because we already got speed. I think just going for like a knockoff into um, a Flare Blitz maybe. Or I could just double down to Gengar. I'm kind of leaning towards just double down to this Gengar. Let Sinisha do Sinisha things, right? Yeah, let's just double down to Gengar. Let's just try to get rid of Gengar. So Flare Blitz going through launch to beautiful damage. Maybe should have went for a dual wing beat instead, so I don't take the coil. But uh, he's gonna end up going for that for Thunderbolt. So I'll take that trade all day. I'll take a Talonflame for Gengar trade all day. Talonflame for Gengar trade all day. That's cool with me. I wonder what Sinish is going for. Trick Room? Possibility. Definitely a possibility. Now he's going to go for Strength Sap, so that's, that's fine by me. That's fine by me, because I can Parting Shot this next turn. I can Parting Shot this next turn. I can bring out Indeedee. I can start throwing Expanding Forces. Got a few options here right now. It's great news for us. So yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with you Strength Sap and into Incineroar. Just Parting Shot this next turn. Arch Ludon comes out here? Yeah, we definitely want to Parting Shot. We definitely want to hit a nice little Parting Shot here. Well, comes to Arch Luna. We get the terrain. I get out, uh, what's it called as well, which is great news. And I could just throw an expanded force across the board. So, expanded force into a parting shot into this slot. We go from there. I like it. <laughs> hmm. So, Sinister is shown on the field again. My uh, sneeze is going to be great. Expanded forces are going to start to drop, which is nice. I hope this thing's not stamina. I hope it's the other one. What's it called? Sturdy. I hope it's sturdy, but chances are it's probably stamina. I mean, stamina is just so good. Um, <clears throat> and if it is stamina, I might just helping hand close combat this thing next turn. We'll see. But Expanded Force launches, doing great damage into Sinisha. This thing is a stamina boosted Pokemon. And he's going to go for an Electro Shot with the Power Herb. So he's going to boost his special attack. I'm going to Party Shot, put it back down to normal. And we'll see if they want to pop Trick Room. I mean, Trick Room might just be the call here. We actually get the... Wait a minute. What just happened? They miss? Did, did they miss? What just happened? They must have missed. Because they charged like their shot and then it didn't land. I, I They had to have missed it. I just didn't read the... Read the subtitles that popped up. They missed it? They had to have. Because I seen it charge up and then it was just like... Incineroar's party shotting. That's fine. No trick room too. I like that. And someone dodged that. Who's dodging? Who's dodging that? Who dodged that? It's a good dodge. That's a good dodge. So it doesn't get back that much HP. And another expanded force should be able to KO. And I think I'm just going to close combat on top of that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I think the combination of these two should be able to KO. It should be able to KO. Yeah, they don't even Terrasilize. That's big time news. Yeah, the combination of these two. Mm, is it going to KO? Defense dropping. Didi's going next. KO the Arch Ludon, please. KO this Arch Ludon. Get it on out my face. I know Sinisha's dead. Arch Ludon die out here as well. Really? A 1 HP bandit? A <laughs> 1 HP bandit? Get it on out of here. Get it on out of here. A 1 HP bandit. Gonna be able to survive this Electro Shot going to Flyer. Oh no! That makes sense now. That makes sense now. He never missed it. He just didn't have Power Herb. He just didn't have Power Herb. He was just charging it up. He was just charging up. Okay, I, I just you just don't see that often. You just don't see that often. So it threw me off. I was I was kind of confused. I was like, what is going on here? I was like, why do you just charge up and like not do anything? You must have missed it. All right, now nah, that makes sense now. So no power. That's very odd. Olimai is gonna come out here. Um, you could go for a tailwind here. Sneezer should still be able to outspeed, which is great news. And I think we just throw a throw chop into that slot because I really don't want to drop my defense again. 
I really do not want to drop my defense, so I'm just gonna go for... I got Psychic Terrain out, don't I? Can't go for a fake out. Yeah, so we might as well just drop a Flare Blitz here. Might as well just Flare Blitz you and then just throw Chapter 1 HP away. Because again, I don't want to go for a close combat and drop my defense, but they just cancel the match. They don't even take the risk. We go 2-1 for today's video. Not too bad with this squad. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Talonflame meta squad for ranked regulation H. The first match, we made our opponent quit. The second match, our opponent used a weird off meta team and ended up beating us. And then third and final match, we bounced back to grab ourselves a winning record. But this team was a lot of fun. Talonflame, very fast, very strong, very frail. We only got to use it a little bit. Ended up popping some tailwinds, doing some nice damage with dueling beat and flare blitz. And then the rest of the squad kind of took over. And DD Sneeze are such a good combo. Incineroar, doing Incineroar things. And then Ursa Luna and Electabuzz. I don't think we used Electabuzz today. No, we didn't. But the rest of the squad, again, this team is really good. So if you guys want to rent it, run the code top right-hand corner. If you guys want to take it to the master tier, I highly recommend it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.